Boom, record there. Let's go. Yo! <laughs> there we are. That's what I'm talking about. Man, popped open my Rise and Grind planner. First thing this morning, right? First thing this morning, get up, no snooze, no phone. I go downstairs. In all honesty, I was a little like, you know how some days you wake up and you're like awake. And then other days you wake up and your face is like stuck on sleep <laughs> and my face was stuck on sleep for just a second totally stuck on sleep but i was like all right let's go so i pop open my planner so that i can write down my gratitude write down my goals do all the things that i do and the very first thing i read is a quote from my man bruce miller now bruce miller is a good friend of mine from new orleans and what i love about the hashtag rising grind planner is that all of the daily quotes at the top are submitted by actual rise and grind members so it's awesome getting to highlight them especially when uh it's somebody as special as my man bruce man bruce is really a one-of-a-kind amazing tremendous human being so with bruce his quote on the top of the planner today he made it really easy so i'm gonna give it to you right now Hashtag all gas, no brakes. That's all he put. That was his quote. That's his favorite quote. Hashtag all gas, no brakes. I absolutely love it. And that is how Bruce runs. That's the type of person he is. All right, fair enough. With that said, let's dive in. We're talking about influence this week, the power of influence, how we utilize influence, how influence can affect us. And ultimately, we're going to wrap that up here today on Hashtag Rise Grind. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? You see, there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level. In order for you to create a new you, you must have a new mindset. When teams come together, we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to eight, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning morning <laughs> how are you my friend how are you my friend dude today is thursday that's right today is thursday oh that phone is loud today is thursday april 8th 2021 can you believe it thursday april 8th 2021 and what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it'll ever be Thursday, April 8th, 2021. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most. And I do mean the absolute most of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. We are live right now on Clubhouse as well as Instagram. Instagram, so glad you're here. And of course, right here on Facebook, my Facebook peeps, where my man J.R. White is on day 67 of the Morning 5 Challenge. Congratulations, JR. Are you kidding me? Day 67, brother. Now it'll be harder to not do it than to do it. That's the transition. That's what you did. Congratulations, man. It is not easy to do that. So make me a video. I want you to make a video talking about your experience doing the Morning 5. Send it over to me. I'll send it to my team. We'll hook you up with some free gear, man. I've been watching you. I've been cheering for you. 
and I'm stinking proud of you, brother. Keep up the great work. That's awesome. So today, Thursday, April 8, 2021, the day that J.R. White completed the 67-day challenge, it is supposed to be about 69 degrees here in Kentucky today. 69 degrees, which sounds nice. Oh, Bruce Miller's in here this morning. What hashtag all gas, no brakes means to me. Yes, sir. Talk about it. Talk about it. So 69 degrees here in Kentucky. I don't know what kind of weather you're looking at, but I hope it's nice. It's supposed to be 69 degrees with a little bit of rain midday today. Just a little bit of rain. And that's beautiful as far as I'm concerned, right? 69 degrees is just about perfect weather for outside you know i could handle a little more heat but i'm cool with it from you know we're out of those winters the winter days i'm good with that and i don't know about you but i i just love spring i absolutely love spring right like it's new life on the horizon it's the sights and the smells it's beautiful right all the little uh, the baby animals, you see the baby, the baby, the baby chicks and the baby birds and all of that stuff, right? Like the tulips. Have you guys ever seen the tulips in the Netherlands that bloom in the spring? Like it's absolutely fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. All of the different vibrant colors, right? Green tulips, red tulips, pink tulips, yellow tulips, and just miles and miles and miles and miles and miles of these absolutely beautiful flowers, right? You know how tulip is just a big bulb, right? It's this big, beautiful flower. And that only, that happens in the spring in the Netherlands. And it's just beautiful. It's another, uh, 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 another beautiful thing you can attribute to the spring, right? Or maybe for you, maybe, maybe you've witnessed the poppies in the desert. The poppies in the desert are absolutely incredible. You have this barren desert that's typically just brown and kind of, you know, I don't, I don't want to say the word ugly, but it's just kind of dry, kind of plain, kind of flat, kind of all runs together. And then all of a sudden these poppies pop up in the spring and they're bright orange and it just completely litters the desert with color, man. It's gorgeous. I stink and love the spring, man. My kids, all of a sudden, they get they're they're jacked up again. They're outside. They're playing on the swings. They're playing on the play sets. They're outside last night at like nine o'clock at night when they were supposed to be going to bed. At nine o'clock last night, they were like running around outside, playing in the dark, asking dad if we could pop off some fireworks. Right? It's just a beautiful season. It's it's literally like angelic to me. And at the same time, it's like probably one of the busiest seasons for me. <laughs> I don't know about you. On top of work and on top of family, on top of all the things that we normally do, now we've got like spring cleaning, right? The spring cleaning kicks in. Uh, we were talking about that in Breakfast with Champions, going through and touching everything and seeing if it brings you joy. And if it doesn't bring you joy, you got to get rid of it, right? And you got to declutter and how important it is to be clean and organized and fresh going into this season, right? So the spring cleaning kicks in, but then there's also this sense of opportunity. And so you have the sense of opportunity you have the busyness of spring cleaning. You have the realization that time is flying by. I don't know about you, but for me, like during this season, I'm just like, holy crap, it's already April 8th. This year, this year's already four months in. Like this realization that time is, is flying by. So altogether, it creates a conflict for me anyway, for me personally. I don't know about you. It's like, okay, I need to run fast. I need to run hard. But at the same time, I need to slow down. I need to make sure that I smell and appreciate the tulips, right? Like last night, I, I cleaned out the garage after I got home from work last night. My wife had already done a lot of the work. And so I pulled the, the rest of the stuff out of the garage. We cleaned that out and I was putting stuff back in until like 10 o'clock last night. And there's some stuff that didn't make it back into the garage yet. 
There's some stuff that didn't make it into the garage yet, and so it's kind of sitting outside. I'm a little worried about it this morning. I'm going to have to get back over there this morning, make sure it gets in because it's supposed to rain today. <laughs> At about 10 o'clock or so, and to be honest with you, I actually love the rain. I am fascinated by the rain. My daughter's middle name is Rain. My wife and I first like connected dancing in the rain. Like I love the rain. And so because I love the rain, I have to get to work this morning in order to be able to enjoy it. You see, if the rain comes, this rain that I love, if it comes and it soaks all the stuff that I have sitting out in the drive that's supposed to be in the garage, then I'm not going to be able to enjoy the rain today. I'm going to be frustrated by the rain today. So I've got to get to work this morning to make sure that I'm in a position where I can appreciate the rain that I love. You see, I better get to work. And my guess is you probably need to get to work as well. Because you see, if we don't get it organized, and if we just keep running, 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 but we don't organize our house, organize our work, organize our targets, organize our goals, organize our priorities, organize our life. If we don't get it organized and we just keep running with no time to pause or reflect, then ultimately we're going to be running into some trouble. The things that used to bring us joy are going to cause frustration. You see, taking time to pause and reflect should be in the success handbook. The getting up early, the beating the sun rises, the going 100 miles an hour, the putting in the 18 hour days, the 20 hour days, the whatever it takes, all of those are, are in the success manual as well. Taking the time to pause and reflect should be additionally. Because here's an interesting thing, folks. We, me and you, we will never be able to hear the voice inside of us, the voice inside of us that ultimately has the answers to everything that we are seeking in this life. We will never be able to hear the voice inside of us, the voice that is influencing us. The voice that ultimately is our communication, our ability, and I don't want to go there yet. You'll never be able to hear that voice inside of you if you don't take the time to smell the tulips. And in all honesty, everything that you are seeking in this life exists in that voice. Let's go ahead and dance today. Let's get this rocking and rolling. We're going to continue to finish this series on influence as soon as I can find the right button. But first, we got to do some dancing. Fair enough? I think I got the right one over there on Clubhouse finally. Stay well. There it is. For those of you that know, those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we can change the way you start your day, it'll make a massive impact in your life. I truly believe that. And sometimes all it takes to change the way you start your day is for you to hit that share button. So if you're on Facebook, share it out. If you're on Instagram, pew, 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 pew. If you're over there on Clubhouse, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that plus button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Invite some people to join us. We're going to have a powerful, powerful show today. Trust me on this. This is also the part of the show where I want to say good morning to you, and I want you to say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live, whether you're watching on replay, maybe you're listening to the podcast, maybe you're over on YouTube, wherever you're at, connect with me. Say what's up. Super important, all right? Justin. Good morning, Justin. And I got to give a shout out to Justin, man. My man, Justin, he, uh, he took last week's series 
last week's series where we broke down the four quarters and he like broke it down in his instagram reel in like an eight minute video for everybody man and it was powerful and so justin i appreciate you man i also see solana this morning i see kimberly hatfield pam woosley will ramsey emily gallers in the house how you doing andy pratt what's up sean woodward carmilla and Carmilla Butcher, how are you this morning? What's up, Rich Pintrick? Emily Galler, have you guys seen Emily Galler's handwriting lately? She's phenomenal. What's up, Tina Davis Bacon? We got Tabitha Walls. Sarah Mainsmith is in the house. And of course, Miss Mary Lynn Wilkin. What's up, Susan Rose? Jay Wilburn's up in here. Over on Instagram, I got my man, Justin Conico. That's right, I appreciate you, bro. What's up, Michelle Hex T? Great to see you fool around the world is in the house <laughs> i love it how you doing migana in new york city i see real new money 818 has joined us i also of course see sharon and bernita i see barbara and i see my man alpha six is up in here this morning i see forbes riley has joined us hi forbes great to see you i see jay Liss is in the house scott and johnny and ali is in here how you doing bay team what's up honey how you doing rebecca and Donna? And Pete and Rupesh is in here this morning. We got my man Mello. We got Wayne up in the house. How you doing, Olivia? Great to see you as well. I see Lori's up in here and Hubert and Jerry and Claudette and Sam and Dexter and Corey. Don't forget Terry LaPierre and Ray Hatcher. Pam Woosley's up in the house. Mrs. Terry Collins. We got Linda LaBond's up in here this morning. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love hanging out with the Giuseppe Torellas of the world. I love hanging out with the Irie Bond 67s of the world. First thing in the morning. How you doing, Hand Angela He? Uh, Angela He. Great to see you as well. Awesome. Cool. You guys rocking and rolling now? You guys rocking and rolling now? An object in motion tends to stay in motion. So let's get this sucker moving, all right? It's time to rock and roll. Hey, with that said, we do have, this is spring break. We're talking about spring. This is spring break at risinggrindgear.com. If you go to risinggrindgear.com, you can save 40% on all Rise and Grind gear for another like three days. It ends on Saturday. All right. So you're going to use, you're going to want to use the code spring break. Go to Rise and Grind gear, use the code spring break. We have the best t-shirts. Ask anybody that's ever bought one. We've got incredible hoodies that are super soft and heavy at the same time. Ask anybody that's ever bought one. We've got just amazing gear. The coffee is phenomenal, whatever it is. If you haven't got a hashtag Rising Grind Planner yet, now is the best time to get one. That'll save you almost $20 on that hashtag Rising Grind Planner. So go to risinggrindgear.com risinggrindgear.com use the code spring break and make sure you help us spring clean getting some stuff out of my wife's warehouse and you benefit because you get an awesome deal but time's running out on that sucker all right all right let's dive in The voice, a speaker for the heart of man. <laughs> we talked about that yesterday, right? The power of the voice, the power of your voice, how important it is that you speak up, that you be heard, that you share your story, how important it is that you understand that you play an integral role in the overall success of all of us, right? Like we need what you got, that unique thing, that unique experience, that unique story. We need you, right? We talked about that yesterday. The voice, a speaker for the heart of man. Ultimately, it's an untouchable asset, right? Your voice is an untouchable asset. Is my man, 
My man William over on Clubhouse still. I got to make sure. Where's William? William, William, William. He's not in there right now. I'll, I'll message him on the side. <laughs> Your voice is an untouchable asset, very much like an NFT. <laughs> it's very much like an NFT. Each voice is a one of one. Now, some of you might be like, what the heck is an NFT? Other of you know that I really don't know a whole lot about NFTs, but I do know that they're original, one of one in a lot of cases. And I know that this particular NFT right here of an astronaut reaching and pointing towards a flower sold for $69 million. $69 million for a piece of digital art. A one of one. An untouchable asset that you could never, you can't put it in your hand. You can't hold it. You can't treasure it. You can't hug it. One of one an untouchable asset. Your voice is just as valuable. I'm sorry. Your voice is even more valuable than a $69 million NFT. You see, your voice has the power to destroy as well as the power to create. Your voice has the power to belittle and it also has the power to lift up. Your voice has the ability to influence other humans all around the world. And it also has the ability to unite a small group of people in Charlottesville, Virginia. Your voice has the ability to share messages of hope, of light, and of love. And it also has the ability to transform an emotion to invigorate, to compel, to motivate, to inspire the, the voice, your voice, maybe the most important gift that you'll ever give. The most important gift that you'll ever give away. And this week we talked about influence. We talked about our influence on our kids and how our kids influence us. We talked about the influences of social media, the songs that we listen to, the movies that we watch. We talked about the influence of our story and the ability of our, our voice to make an impact and influence others. We talked about all that this week. And we really defined this word influence and not just the word, but the, the power of the word influence, right? The power of influence, the capacity to have an effect on the character development or behavior of someone or something. We broke that down this week and I hope you had a lot of takeaways. I hope that you took some notes. I hope that it made an impact. And I want you to end this week walking away with this. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus lived, walked, and talked in a way that ultimately influenced billions of people worldwide. Now, I am not sure of your religious belief system or your religious background. I'm not sure where you stand when it comes to spirituality. And so here's the thing I want to challenge you. When I mention the word Jesus, please don't run away from that. If that's not your belief system, you are welcome here. You and I are brothers and sisters. I'm glad that there are people like you that believe things differently than me. When we conversate, you make me better by seeing things outside of what I see. So it's super important to me that you know and understand that I love you equally and that it's okay for us to agree to disagree. As a matter of fact, it actually makes us better when we do. 
So when I go down a Jesus path, I want you to understand that, yes, I am coming from my own spiritual belief in nature, but even more so, I'm coming from a student. I am a student of success. I study successful humans. And the most, the best-selling book of all time is the Bible. 3.6 billion copies. The most influential uh, person in history is Jesus. His walk, his experience, really in just three years, his experience over 2,000 years ago has influenced the entire shape of the world. We number our years based on the season of life where Jesus walked. We measure our clocks and our calendars based on the season that Jesus served his ministry. So our entire world has been shaped and influenced by this guy. That's why I study him deeply. And in studying him, I've learned to love him. I really have. And so I challenge you to stick with me here. Jesus, over 2,000 years ago, he lived, he walked, he talked in a way that influenced billions of people worldwide. And here's what he did. He introduced hope. You see, in the time that Jesus was walking the earth, there was a lack of hope. Hope, people's belief system in God that it was eye for an eye. Simple as that. The kingdom to heaven was small. It was, you could easier fit a donkey through a needle, right? Like the, the, there was very little hope pre-Jesus. And so he walked with hope. He also walked, talked, and carried himself and showed love. He introduced hope to the world. He showed love to the world. And then he served those in need all around the world. And to top it all off, this dude Jesus was willing to die for what he believed in. So the takeaway that I want you to have as we wrap this series up, is I want you to understand that you already are an influencer in a sense. There are people watching and reacting and being ultimately affected by every decision that you make, whether you like it or not. You are influencing those around you in one way, shape, or form. But if you want to be a really positive, massive influencer, like massive influencer making a massive impact, if that's in your DNA, if you feel compelled to influence people in an extremely positive and powerful way that leaves a legacy to where people remember your name for generations and generations and generations and generations and generations to come, then I've got the formula for, for you and I can give it to you in 60 seconds so we can wrap this up on time. Look, you want to be the biggest influencer out there? Introduce hope. Show love. Serve those in need. And be willing to die for what you believe in. There it is. There it is. That's the influencer formula. Dish up some hope. Show some love, serve those in need, and be willing to die for what you believe in. <laughs> There's your note, Emily Galler. Take that beautiful handwriting of yours and stick it out there for the rest of the world to see. All right? All right, look. Look, friends, I'm so happy you chose to spend this time with me this morning. I really am. Like, you mean the world to me. I don't know if you know this or not, but I believe that you and I are children of God. The God of the universe, the God that made everything. That's what I believe. And as children of God, that makes you my brother and my sister. And as my brother and my sister, I love you. I do. Like, if nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be first. I absolutely stinking love you. There's so much greatness inside you. There's so much potential 
that you have yet to unpack, that you have yet to unlock. And so I'm excited when we get to come together in this way to join you in your journey. I want you to know that I'm praying for you. I pray for you daily. I pray for, pray for the Rising Ground Group, the Brexit Champions. I'm praying for you daily. And I'm simply praying a simple, simple prayer. A simple prayer that you are living out a life filled with hope, love, servitude for others, and ultimately becoming the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. I understand. As you rise, we all rise. So listen, go out there, have an incredible day today. And then come back here again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. And we'll do this all over again on hashtag rise and run. Boom! That's it! Look, if you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. If you want to go hang out over in Clubhouse, we're going to be over there for a while. Uh, John Asaraf from The Secret is going to be joining us a little bit later. So super excited to spend some time with him as well. Uh, but we're going to be having some conversations, really connecting, getting to know each other over on Clubhouse. So if you want to come join us, I'd love to see you. Otherwise, come back here again tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. I believe I have an interview. I'll be introducing you to a new guest, and uh, I'll be excited to see you then. All right, take care. Have a great day. Boom!